This is an unusual scene for Americans, but traditional for Buddhists, to see Nobel laureate Aung San Suu Kyi on the ground, revering monks who chant a blessing of love and kindness. The activist met with the monks who flew here from Burma and Burmese Americans from the Washington area. Many left their homes early to see her. These are her countrymen, who watched her 19 years of house arrest from their homes in the U.S., where many of them fled the oppressive military regime. Now she is their hope for democracy. There's a great future for Burma, provided she is able to succeed in the next elections. Many of these Burmese Americans came to this country following a major 1988 pro-democracy uprising. Others followed, but they all share one thing. They've never lived in their country during an election. Now that Aung San Suu Kyi won a seat in parliament five months ago, many, like Rosemary Thon, are thinking ahead. When we left Burma, we thought we would always go back to retire there. And uh, I never thought the moment would come because it just seemed like such a far away goal and at this time this is a possibility in the crowd told the win he joined others to save Aung San Suu Kyi in 2003 when a mob attacked her convoy and tried to assassinate her after that he escaped to the United States she was put under house arrest again Aung San Suu Kyi called him to see her after the speech she said she wanted me to come back to Burma. Yes, I agreed with her, and I really want to go back to Burma. But many are worried the new democracy reforms are not permanent. Aung San Suu Kyi suggested compromise. We need to work together with military, various groups, and ethnic nationalities. We need to be cautious, but not to have doubt. Being cautious, being fully aware is totally different from keeping doubt. Doubt will never help us to move forward. In another speech with Amnesty International, she focused on youth. It's not just a matter of make sure, making sure that political prisoners are freed. You, the young, have got to try to get to the root of why they are political prisoners. The day ended with democracy awards for five other Burmese activists. Of her years under house arrest, Aung San Suu Kyi says she never thought of herself as suffering, but as following a path. Many here thank her for paving that path toward freedom for others. Carolyn Prasuti, VOA News, Washington.